for you is absolutely adorable. And these are our reading animals in the Adirondack chair. When I saw these, when our buyer showed these to me, I was like, oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. So stinking cute. Fell they come to love. us from Plow and Hearth. Nancy Brandmuller's here. Just choose, do you want the rabbit, the turtle, or the frog? Frankly, I think it's adorable to have all three. I agree, I agree. They're so charming. Just, you know, Plow and Hearth does such a great job when it comes to animals and kind of putting them in a scenario that you might imagine they're doing. Yes. So these are so charming. Well, let's go through each sure. of them so you can get a nice little close up. Overall, they're about eight inches tall. Um, they're about six inches across mm -hmm. and they're going to be about um, seven inches deep. Right. All right. So there's your, and there's your first one. And there is not just one turtle, but two. It's like mommy and baby or daddy yeah. and baby reading Sweet. a little story. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then <coughs> that one is in the brown Adirondack chair and they're made to look a little bit weathered. In the center, you have your frog. Looks like he's really studying something. I think he is really contemplating the book that he's reading. Absolutely darling. Looks like he's made out of like a verdigreed copper as does the uh, tortoise or turtle. And then in front of me right here is our rabbit. He is studying very hard in his book or really into this novel. And he has more of like a bronze look to him and then kind of a darker kind of green or teal chair. Any one of them is just beautifully done in resin. So you can leave them outside, tuck these into your flower gardens, put them near your potted plants, wherever you would like to use them. They're perfectly fine outside. A lot of people I would imagine might want to use them inside as well on their bookshelf or somewhere tucked yes. into potted plants inside. Especially if you collect one of these yes. animals. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people do collect turtles or frogs or bunnies. Mm -hmm. um, the bunny could be something that you just put out in the springtime. You know, exactly. It be part of your spring decor. Um, very heavy weighted. So again, if you have it outside on a deck or a table, you're not going to have to worry about them blowing over at right. all, which I think is important. Um, and they look great and they're cute. Mm -hmm. And it's just that little unexpected surprise outside or in. Mm -hmm. That's what's so nice about gardening is putting those touches in your garden that make it memorable that also, like you said, surprise people. So when they're walking through your garden and they see your little area of your you know, miniature roses or maybe your geraniums and you have this sitting there, it's just that, oh, look at how adorable that is. Might remind them of a fairy garden they used to go see when they were a child or maybe you like reading with your children. So you let your children or grandchildren place these around your garden or let them have a section of their garden themselves. Just beautiful. They are maybe about three pounds. So like you said, yeah. really nicely weighted, but something that you easily can go ahead and tuck around your garden. Well, I have to tell you, this is our only order of the season. So if we sell out of these, or if I sell out of one of the choices, the others are not gonna be reordered. So if you like it, make sure that you're dialing in, that you're getting it. The rabbit's been very popular. The turtle is the most limited. Don't forget about Mr. Frog here, <laughs> all right? Um, can't promise that if you kiss it, it'll turn into your prince, but you never do know. <laughs> That's right. um, and again, you just look at the artistry at each of yes. them and the detail on all of them. They're so well done. I and mean, that's what Plow and Heart's been about for many years. Absolutely. When it comes to animals, they really capture the essence of the animal, but then kind of give it that little whimsical touch. Like the tortoise right there reading to its little baby, has that smile on its face. The baby's looking up into, like you said, the mom or the dad's face, just, you know, listening to that story, really capturing just what you would imagine animals might do when we are not looking right. out there reading books and, you know, making your garden magical. So these are made out of resin. Again, a really nice size so that you can have some fun kind of moving them around. Look at that darling frog. So many childhood stories that have frogs in them. Actually, any one of these characters. I can think of no numerous childhood books and characters that, you know, would go along with any of these. So I love kind of tying in that reading aspect along with the animals and then decorating in your garden. So again, your choices here are the turtle, mm -hmm. which is in a brown chair. It's like a mama or daddy or grandparent reading to their little one. So you have that little baby turtle there. There you have the book, the detail on it. it has that verdigree kind of a finish to it. Mm -hmm. So you'll see some highs and lows of the green, but then also that kind of gold peeking through. So there's the turtle. And those are all priced, by the way, at under $25, which I think is awesome. Then we have it for you here in the frog. Mm -hmm. Love the little frog. Um, frog is done on kind of a whitewashed chair. Um, looking very deep I in like thought. His heads on his but hand. Then, I mean, look at the way they even did the pages of mm -hmm. the book there. I mean, they look like they've been turned and yes, kind exactly. of, you know, kind of rumpled a little bit. Exactly. And there's even writing on there too. So it's really just done in such great detail and done in resin. So that means it's fine to leave outside, but really beautiful details. And then finally down there, 
at rabbit. the end, you have the rabbit. And then that, that chair is kind of a grayish color, mm -hmm. Nancy. Yep. But the rabbit itself is done in more of that kind of traditional bronzed look. Exactly, exactly. I love how he's got one leg tucked up underneath a little bit and he's got the other one. Really looks like he's <coughs> just really into this great novel. <laughs> and it's just so sweet to be able to tuck these into, you know, little spots in your garden where someone's walking along or you're walking along and you're, you know, doing your gardening and you just see this. It just makes you smile because they're just really sweet animals. Oh, my goodness, has I one I mean, just gone? look, oh, guys. I see. Look how cute Darling. this would be. Just kind of nestled in your flower yes. bed. Mm -hmm. You know, you're walking along. Oh, did I put it right behind a flower where our cameras can't get it? Where should I put it? Right there? Is that better? Oh, that's so sweet. Like, I mean, that's just, you know, you're just sort of walking through and it kind of turns your garden and that outdoor space into that enchanted garden. That's right? right. Something magical. It is our only order of the year. We have sold over 600 of these. The turtle is the most limited of those. Stay on the line if you're dialing in. Those are item number M55538. Nancy's going to stick around. Yes. We have some more things coming up from Plow and Hearth. Philip Watson will be here. And then don't forget, at 4 o'clock, we'll be spending two hours with Martha Stewart for both gardening and some of her food items, so don't go away.